Strength will rise as we wait upon the Lord. We will wait upon the Lord. We will wait upon the Lord. Strength will rise as we wait upon the Lord. We will wait upon the Lord. Hello and welcome to our recorded service for Sunday the 25th of October. Our theme today is the Song of Salvation and we'll be looking at Psalm 30. We'll be hearing from um, others in our ministry team with a talk and readings and we'll worship God with some wonderful songs. So let's start with our first song. Psalm 30. I praise you, Lord, because you have saved me. I kept my enemies from gloating over me. I cried to you for help, O Lord my God, and you healed me. You kept me from the grave. I was on my way to the depths below, but you restored my life. Sing praise to the Lord, all his faithful people. 
remember what the Holy One has done and give him thanks. His anger lasts only a moment, his goodness for a lifetime. Tears may flow in the night, but joy comes in the morning. I felt secure and said to myself, I will never be defeated. You were good to me, Lord. You protected me like mountain fortress. But then you hid yourself from me. I was afraid. I called to you, Lord. I begged for your help. What will you gain from my death? What profit from my going to the grave? Are dead people able to praise you? Can they proclaim the unfailing goodness? Hear me, Lord, and be merciful. Help me, Lord. You have changed you have changed my sadness into joyful dance. You have taken my sorrow, you have taken away my sorrow. You surrounded me with joy. So I will not be silent. I will sing praise to you. Lord, you are my God. I will give you thanks forever. Amen. I stand amazed in the presence of Jesus the Nazarene and wonder how he could love me, a sinner condemned unclean. How marvellous, how wonderful, and my song shall ever be. How marvellous, how wonderful is my Saviour's love for me. He took my sins and my sorrows, he made them his very own. He bore the burden to Calvary and suffered and died alone. How marvellous, how wonderful, and my song shall ever be. How marvellous, how wonderful is my Saviour's love for me. When with the ransomed in glory his face I at last shall see, t'will be my joy through the ages to sing of his love for me. How marvellous, how wonderful, and my song shall ever be. How marvellous, how wonderful is my Saviour's love for me. The Gospel reading is from Matthew chapter 28, beginning at verse 1. The Resurrection After the Sabbath, as Sunday morning was dawning, Mary Magdalene and the other Mary went to look at the tomb. Suddenly there was a violent earthquake. An angel of the Lord came down from heaven, rolled the stone away, and sat on it. His appearance was like lightning and his clothes were as white as snow. The guards were so afraid that they trembled and became like dead men. The angel spoke to the women. You must not be afraid, he said. I know you were looking for Jesus, who was crucified. He is not here. He has been raised, just as he said. Come here and see the place where he was lying. Go quickly now and tell his disciples, he has been raised from death, and now he is going to Galilee ahead of you. There you will see him. Remember what I have told you. So they left the tomb in a hurry, afraid and yet filled with joy, and ran to tell his disciples. Suddenly, Jesus met them and said, Peace be with you. They came up to him took hold of his feet and worshipped him. Do not be afraid, Jesus said to them. Go and tell my brothers to go to Galilee, and there they will see me. Psalm 30 is a fascinating psalm, and it sounds like a prayer, because it is a conversation with God. So I want to unpack the prayer that is Psalm 30, but I want to look at what type of prayer it is, or psalm that it is. 
If you took a straw poll of how many people have ever prayed, I wonder what the answer would be. I think it would be very high. I think there would be a moment in most people's lives when they felt so desperate they turned to God and prayed. God, help me! It might also have been a prayer with a bargain. God, if you help me, then I will. What promise would you make in your desperation? How many people pray a prayer of desperation? Have you? And how many people pray a prayer that bargains with God by making promises? Have you? I have. One time when I was a student, a girlfriend came back from Morocco and went straight into hospital with an undiagnosed serious illness that was thought to be a tropical disease. It turned out to be appendicitis and that's bad enough, but she did recover. But I wonder what I promised to God in that prayer. There are many different kinds of psalms and many different ways to classify them. Some psalms are mainly for praise or about wisdom or are royal psalms, those that proclaim the king. Then there are psalms of thanks, lament, prophecy, history and teaching. And some psalms fall into more than one category, but Psalm 30 is definitely a thanksgiving psalm. It offers praise and thanksgiving for what God has done for the speaker. Let's have a closer look. Psalms are poetic. It's the sort of poetry that survives being translated from one language to another because you don't need to look for words that rhyme. You look for patterns that repeat or build up their message layer by layer. Psalm 30 is like a four-step play. Verses 1 to 3, 4 to 5, 6 to 10 and 11 to 12. Let's look at these in more detail. Verses 1 to 3 introduce the play. My praise is a thanksgiving because you have rescued me. Verses 4 to 5 keep praise and rescue in two parts. Praise and remembering with thanks. Rescue is the sorrow that is limited until I am restored to joy. At the end verses of 11 and 12, we reverse the order with sorrow restored to joy and then ending in praise and thanksgiving. That just leaves the meaty bit in the middle, verses 6 to 10, where I, the speaker of the psalm, have fallen trying to be self-reliant and getting it wrong until I discover that God seems to be absent and I beg and bargain, reminding God that I cannot praise and thank God if I am in total loss. You might think this sounds a bit cynical, a bit taking God for granted as if we know we're going to mess up and God will always pick us up. But isn't that true? Psalm 30 is very down to earth. But it is also very theological. Despite messing up, we know our rescue is not only about our own well-being. It is about giving thanks to God and praising God, because that is our purpose in life. The opening lines of the Westminster Shorter Catechism in the language of the 17th century ask, what is the chief end of man? The student is then to respond, man's chief end is to glorify God and enjoy him forever. So if we fall, by God's grace we are restored in order to praise and thank God and do so more and more. 
So let's finish by seeing these four parts of Psalm 30 as a great hymn and prayer of praise and thanksgiving. I praise you, Lord, because you have saved me and kept my enemies from gloating over me. I cried to you for help, O Lord my God, and you healed me. You kept me from the grave. I was on my way to the depths below, but you restored my life. Sing praise to the Lord, all his faithful people. Remember what the Holy One has done and give him thanks. His anger lasts only a moment, his goodness for a lifetime. Tears may flow in the night, but joy comes in the morning. I felt secure and said to myself, I will never be defeated. You were good to me, Lord. You protected me like a mountain fortress. But then you hid yourself from me and I was afraid. I called to you, Lord. I begged for your help. What will you gain from my death? What profit from my going to the grave? Are dead people able to praise you? Can they proclaim your unfailing goodness? Hear me, Lord, and be merciful. Help me, Lord. You have changed my sadness into a joyful dance. You have taken away my sorrow and surrounded me with joy. So I will not be silent. I will sing praise to you, Lord. You are my God. I will give you thanks for ever. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and shall be for ever. Amen.
hardly think as you call me deeper still as you call me deeper still as you call me deeper still into love love your good good father to Let us pray. Sing praise to the Lord, all his faithful people. Remember what the Holy One has done and give him thanks. Lord, we give you thanks for the work of your church throughout the world. We pray for all your people gathered together in body and in spirit. Keep them united in your love and committed to showing your love for the world, especially in these testing times. Keep your people safe and keep them always mindful of the needs of the rest of their community. May your church sing your praises, give you thanks and ever sing the song of your salvation. Lord, in your mercy. Hear our prayer. You were good to me, Lord. You protected me like a mountain fortress. Protect us, O Lord, from the threat of coronavirus. We pray for all those working to combat the threat of the disease, for health workers, for lab technicians, for epidemiologists and virologists, for public health officials and for decision makers at every level who have to make the trade-offs between health and the economy, between livelihoods and the risk of disease. Give them all wisdom, fortitude, care, compassion and good judgment and give us all understanding and appreciation of the work they do. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Lord, we pray your protection also on all those subject to violence and the threat of violence. We pray especially for the people of Syria, of Belarus, of Nigeria, and for all who suffer war. Bring your peace to people everywhere and strengthen the resolve of all who work for peace. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. I called to you, Lord. I begged for your help. Lord, we call to you and we beg for your help with our work in this community. We thank you for showing us a vision of St Mark's as a community hub and for bringing us this far in the journey towards it. We pray for your continued help on that journey. We pray for your guidance in redesigning our buildings so that they can be used most effectively to serve the people here and in securing the funding which we will need to make that vision a reality. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Lord, we pray for your continued help too with the work we are already doing in this community. We pray especially this morning for the tuition project run through Community First which is bringing help to pupils who have lost out on educational opportunity through lockdown. And we pray for the work so many of our congregation have done keeping in touch 
with people who are losing out on social contact because of coronavirus. Keep on showing us how we can build your kingdom here, Lord, and keep us faithful in your work. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. I cried to you for help, my Lord, my God, and you healed me. Lord, bring your healing to all those affected by the coronavirus pandemic, those who have lost their health, those who have lost loved ones, those who have lost livelihoods. Heal also all those who suffer in other ways, whether in body, in mind, or in spirit. We pause to remember especially those known to us who are in need of your healing at this time. Give them courage and hope in their troubles and bring them the joy of the song of your salvation. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. I was on my way to the depths below, but you restored my life. Hear us as we remember those who have died in the faith of Christ. According to your promises, grant us with them a share in your eternal kingdom. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. You have changed my sadness into a joyful dance. You have taken away my sorrow and surrounded me with joy. So I will not be silent. I will sing praise to you. Lord, you are my God. I will give you thanks for ever. Merciful Father, accept these prayers for the sake of your Son, our Saviour Jesus Christ. Amen.
very much hope you've enjoyed the service today. It's been wonderful to lean into God and come together even if it's been virtually. And as we leave our gathering today and go out, let's just share a blessing. Now, may the blessing of God the Father, who made from one every nation that occupies the earth, of God the Son, who bought us for God, from every tribe and language and people and nation, and of God the Spirit, who brings us together in unity, be with us and remain with us always. Amen. Strength arises, we wait upon the Lord, we will wait upon the Lord, we will wait upon the Lord. Strength arises, we wait upon the Lord.